Good morning again. Today is Tuesday on your DLR for week two. Let's go ahead and begin. The first thing we need to do is make a text box into the line here so we can answer this question. Now, when I was a kid, when your parents were kids, we did these things called analogies all the time. You guys really haven't seen analogies a lot, but they are important. Whenever I went to go to college um, my second time for my master's degree, I had to take a test that was all analogies, the entire test. So I want you guys to be familiar with these. So this is how you read analogies. Um, the colon is is, at, is is, and these doubles are as. So let me read it. Pepto-Bismol is to pink as Elmer's glue is to what? Now they're trying to indicate that Pe Pepto-Bismol is a pink medicine, right? So what color would Elmer's glue be? It would be white. So Pepto-Bismol is to pink as Elmer's glue is to white. So let's go ahead and make our text box for the next one. Zebra is to stripes as leopard is to what? So a zebra has stripes, a leopard has spots. So we'll be doing those all year. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make our text box for number three. It says, uh, which word is the verb in the following sentence? Now remember, your verbs are things that you do. So let's read the sentence. She peeled the orange carefully. What is something she's doing here? She is, she peeled. That's what she did. All right, I'm going to move myself up a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and do four and five. Insert my text box. Complete these sentences. Mrs. is capitalized. It has a period that is an abbreviated uh, title. Humphreys, we need to capitalize her name as well because she is a proper noun. That's her name. Mrs. Humphreys asked, um, we need, okay, asked, comma, quotation mark, capitalized, who is ordering lunch today? Question mark, close quotation mark. Now, let's go over this because it's a little complicated. Mrs. Humphreys asked, when you have anything like, she said, he asked, he told, Miss Hall yelled, those all need a comma separating them from the actual speaking they are doing. Qu quotation mark, and you are going to capitalize that because that's starting to what she is saying or asking or whatever. So who is ordering lunch today? The, qu the uh, question mark goes inside uh, the quotation mark. All right, number five. Us don't have no pets in our family. So let's fix this. It's not us. It's we, capitalize. We do not have any, not no, any pets in our family. We do not have any pets in our family. All right, guys. So that is Tuesday. Um, if I made a mistake, let me know. But that should be about it. I'm going ahead and stop in this video now. If you have questions, please let us know.